Hello everyone, welcome to Kwajiano Easy Math. We have another exponential equation to solve with the nested exponent over here. 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 to the power x minus 256 to the power of 2 equals 0. And we're going to find for the value of x. And for those new to my channel or for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And now let's start solving the exponential equation. All right, so we have to write down the equation again. That is uh, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 2, and to the power of x, minus 256 to the power of 2, equals 0. And first step to do, I would like to do, transpose the, uh, the constant to the right. Now this becomes 2 to the power of 2 power of 2 to the power of x equals 256 e squared. And now our next thing to do is we have to focus on the constant on the right, that 256 e squared, and uh, the base of 2 on the left side of the equation. And uh, our aim here, since we have nested the exponent over here, our aim is to have a common base. If we can establish a common base, like in here on the left side is 2, if we can convert this, uh, this big number on the right, so that's the first step to finding for the identical base. All right, so let's have to find that base. So and so from here, we have to focus on this uh, constant on the right, that's uh, 256. We have to find the factors of 256. All right, to find the factors of 256 is we have to since the number is divisible by 2 so we'll be dividing several times by 2 okay all right so in here on the right I have constructed a little table or graph so we can find the factors of 256 by dividing by 2 several times since this uh, this number is divisible by 2, so you start dividing by 2. So 256 divided by 2, that will be 128. Since so 16 divided by 2, you say 128. And once again, if you divide, divide this by 2, this will become 12 divided by 2 is 6. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's 64. And once again, we divide by 2. 64 divided by 2 is 32, and going further, same way, 32 divided by 2 is 16. Going ahead, divide by 2 again, that becomes 8, and divide by 2 becomes 4, divide by 2 becomes 2, and divide by 2 becomes 1. So if you notice, uh, the factors of 256 are this, 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times. Uh, this just means that uh, 256 is 2 raised to the 8th power. And from this value, 2 to the 8th power, we substitute that instead of, in place of 256. Alright, so let's do that. Right side of the equation is now 256 is 2 to the 8th power. And we have exponent, existing exponent 2 right there. So raised to the second power. And if you notice, the right side of the equation, we are now using the exponent rule, one of the rules, that is, let's do it over here, that's here, a raised to m raised to n equals a raised to m times n. So we ended up multiplying the exponent. So in here, to be applied on this side of the equation, right side, so this is now 2 raised to 8 times 2 is 16. And from here, left side of the equation, that is 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 2 to the power x equals 2 raised to the 16th power. And from here, if you notice, we have the same base. So we're, we're following another exponent rule, and that is a raised to b equals a raised to c. Therefore, the exponent 
getting equated, B is equal to C. So we'll be applying this rule on here. So the same base, we ended up equating the exponent. So from here, this equation is now left side is 2 to the power of 2. So we, we have just on this level right here. So we have that 2 on that. So we have left is 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And that is 16. So in here again, we'll be following the same pattern. We have to find a common base out of 16, where 16 can, could be written the same way as 2 to the power of 4. And uh, we substitute this value in place of 16 over here. So the equation is now 2 to the power 2 to the power of x equals 16 is 2 to the power 4. Once again, the base are the same, so we we'll ended up equating exponent 2x is equal to 4. All right, so, so from here we'll be using another exponent rule as what we have a little earlier, that is a raised to b is equal to a raised to c, therefore b is equal to c. We're equating the exponent. All right, so we're doing that on here. So therefore, the exponent 2 to the power x is equal to 4 and 4 could be written the same way as 2 squared so we're replacing the value of 4 on here with 2 to the power 2 so this is now 2 to the power x is equal to 2 squared and therefore once again we've been using repeatedly therefore x is equal to 2 that's our final answer we have just found our answer on that. x is equal to 2 for this uh, nesting exponent over here where x is on top of the tower. And uh, that's all for now. And for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.